Hi guys, my name is Miranda and I am going to talk about my coming out process and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to talk about like the big moments that happened that basically led me to where I am right now. I was always taught to be who you are 100% and never hide that so for me struggling with coming to terms with who I was just for myself was a very hard thing to accept so accepting it myself was very hard there was this one moment in my life that I remember very very vividly my best friend my grandfather passed away and he was the type of man who always told me to always be myself and to not give a fuck what other people think about me and he always just he, he was some badass every other word was a curse word he didn't care what other people thought about him and that was one reason that I loved him more than I loved anyone in my entire life and he taught me that you be yourself and you shouldn't care what other people think and when he passed away i realized that i was hiding such a big part of myself from my family so I had to come to terms with the fact that I had to tell everybody that listen this is me if it wasn't for that moment that I sat and thought you know he's the reason that I am who I am today and he made me feel comfortable with who cares if you have tattoos? Who cares if you want to cut your hair? Who cares if you want to talk the way you want to talk? What is one more thing? And I know I know he would have accepted me being gay and I know he wouldn't have cared. And he would have been the one person that I would have only cared about. So when I sat and I had that thought, I realized, man, this is the time to stop holding back and life is too short. Because I just lost my best friend and it made me realize life's too short. Life is too short. So a short time after that, I came out to my mom and she basically already knew uh, she basically already knew <laughs> she uh, that there people say your moms know basically everything about you and I kind of believe that because when I told her it wasn't no surprise because it was something that we have spoken about before so when i told her it was like okay so it's true like all right so no big deal i have the video up on my youtube channel and it's a, it's coming out to a letter to you and go watch it it's a very good video a little cringy but <laughs> it's a good video my mom's amazing and i came out to my mom um a few days later, I came out to my sister because I knew, like, they live in my house. <laughs> so, I wanted my sister to know. My, my Grammy, I came out to her, who was also very great about it. She sat with me. We talked a little bit. Again, I don't, I didn't know how to just lightly come out and just be like, hey, so listen, I'm gay, 
that's it. Can we just watch TV now? Like, or everything I had on the table, like, I was just like putting every part of me out there, and it was anxiety wrecking and it was horrible. The Love is Love tour, which I went to, but it was October 6th when I went and I almost actually didn't go, which I think a lot of people don't know. And I'm really glad that I went and I'm really glad like I would have been so upset if I didn't because there's so like so much great has come out of that so much positive and that day has changed my life so much but since my grandfather passed away I didn't want to do anything I already bought the tickets for me, me and my sister to go and at that time the only two people who knew were my mom and my sister and I almost didn't go and then about a week before I said you know what this means a lot to you this day means a lot to you and this can really change your change your life in a lot of ways and I've followed Shannon for years years and years now and <clears throat> I remember when I've watched Shannon's when I've watched Shannon's videos and I would it wasn't even subscribed to her channel because I was afraid my mom would go on my YouTube account and see that I was subscribed to a lesbian YouTuber. I was like, you have been looking up to this person for so long, how could you not go? And when I bought the tickets, she followed me. Like, it was such a big deal to me. And I was like, if Shannon knows who you are, she knows you're going, you've been tweeting her, like, you can't miss out on this day. And when I went, I made a video for Lovers of Tour. Go watch it. Um, I went, and I have to say that day changed my life completely. Because one, Shannon knew who I was. Like that was just insane, absolutely insane. Her mom, like I hugged her mom. Oh my god, I love her. She's so sweet. But. Um, yeah, that was a really awesome day, and if it wasn't for that day, when I left that day, I also said, this is the beginning of what's going to be my coming out story. And when I left, I said, by the new year, I am going to be completely out to the rest of my family. Anybody that I sat down and had a conversation with, I would make them watch a letter to you because it was basically me giving them my, my feelings. It was saying, hey, I'm gay, but this is what I'm feeling. This is how I feel. Like, that video cannot describe any better what a gay person is going through. It, it, it like, it, there's, like, that video just nails it on the head on what somebody is going through. Like, it is just perfect. My aunt, who's absolutely freaking ridiculously funny, who I, I love more than anything, she is just always there for me, will listen to my stories, and on the end forever, just, words can't describe what a great person she is. My uncle, who just steps up to the plate on anything, I felt like I owed them the, 
I need to sit down and talk to you, especially when they have a whole bunch of kids and I didn't want to be like, and I didn't want to just, I felt like I owed them, I have to sit down and talk to you and tell them that I was gay and I didn't want to just all of a sudden bombard them one day and be like, come over their house with a girlfriend and be like, this is my girlfriend. Surprise in front of your kids. So I sat them down and I told them and they gave me the best answer that I could have ever gotten. They turned around and said, if my kids are to ever learn about it and, and in this day and age, it is no different to us and we don't love you any less. We just love you even more at this fact. If they are going to learn about it from anybody, we would want it to be from you because they adore you more than anyone. And it was just the best reaction that I could have ever gotten, which is the reason that I love them. And I'm not going to go even more deep into the, the conversation that I had with them because they're just like the most perfect people in the entire world. And that conversation was really personal. I just wanted to share a little bit of that. But <clears throat> the rest of my family, I couldn't sit down and talk anymore because it was just weighing so heavy on me, giving me anxiety and panic attacks because I couldn't sit down and have these conversations no more. I just couldn't. It was taking a toll on me. So I got a shirt that says, nobody knows I'm a lesbian. And I put the shirt on and stood in my grandma's kitchen. And we had a party. And as we had this party, I just stood there and let my entire family walk in. And that's how the rest of my family found out. Everyone in my family was great. Um, I just couldn't deal with sitting down and talking no more. So it was, everyone just gave me a hug and it was great and it was okay. But when it came down to friends, I never got a chance to tell any of my friends which resulted in me losing a lot of them because I ended up making my video coming out to a letter to you and I tweeted it but I ended up blocking a lot of my cousins and friends on Twitter which I know sounds a little shitty but I was trying to stay in the closet for a little bit longer and as I was doing that, I didn't realize that I didn't block a few people and somebody found it and it spread a little bit and by a little bit I mean throughout every friend there was and it ended up not working so well in my favor. I mean, I do. I still have a few friends who wanted to stick around and be there for me and a couple people that I lost, which is actually a little hard, but you know, yeah. And I've been making these videos, which I absolutely love and I think it's fantastic and I really enjoy making them. And if I can help at least one person, just one, by watching these videos, I'm going to keep doing it because it makes me very happy. So, if you like the videos, please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss another video, and yeah, that's basically my coming out story.